Hello students, today we are going to do chapter 6 from unit 3 for water resources. Again, similar pattern, multiple choice questions and short question and answers. It is divided in four parts because it's got a lot of content. So let's quickly begin. Which one of the following type describes water as a resource? Cyclic, abiotic, non-renewable resource or biotic resource? An answer for the students is it's a cyclic resource. So we'll refer the book also. Water is a cyclic resource with abundant supplies on the globe. Approximately 71% of the Earth's surface is covered with it, but fresh water constitutes only about 3% of the total water. What percentage of the world's water resources is in India? 3%, 7%, 4% or 8%? An answer is 4%. So when we refer the book, India accounts for about 2.45% of the world's surface area and 4% of the world's water resources and about 16% of the world's population. The total water available from precipitation in the country in a year is about 4000 cubic kilometer. The availability from surface water and replenishable groundwater is 1869 cubic kilometer. Out of this only 60% can be put to beneficial uses. Thus, the total utilizable water resource in the country is only 1,122 cubic kilometer. How much fresh water is there out of total resources? 1%, 3%, 5% or 2.5%? Answer for this is 3%. So if we check in the book again, Approximately 71% of Earth's surface is covered with it, but fresh water constitutes only about 3% of the total water. How much percent of surface water in India can be used? 25%, 32%, 22% or 35%? Answer is, it's just 32%. So when we refer the book, in India, it is estimated to be 1869 cubic kilometer. However, due to topographical, hydrological and other constraints only about 690 cubic kilometer if the available surface water can be utilized that is 32 percent. How much part of the earth is covered with water? 51 percent, 61 percent, 71 percent or 81 percent? Answer is 71 percent. How much percent of the net sown area is irrigated in Punjab? 80%, 85%, 75% or 65%? And answer for this is 85%. We refer the book. In Punjab, Haryana and Western Uttar Pradesh, more than 85% of their net sown area is under irrigation. Wheat and rice are grown mainly with the help of irrigation in these states. And of the total net irrigated area, 76.1% in Punjab and 51.3% in Haryana are irrigated through wells and tube wells. So total irrigation, 85%, through wells in Punjab, 76.1% and Haryana, 513 How much groundwater is used in agriculture? 85%, 72%, 92% or 82%? Answer for this is... 92% of groundwater is used in agriculture. Agriculture accounts for most of the surface and groundwater utilization. It accounts for 89% of the surface water and 92% of the groundwater utilization. So groundwater is 92% and 89% is the surface water. Environment Protection Act was implemented in 1986, 1997, 1988, 1974. Answer is 1986. In which year national water policy was implemented? 2002, 2008, 2015 or 2005? An answer for this is 2002. So we refer the book again. Highlights of India's national water policy 2002. The national water policy 2002 stipulates water allocation priorities broadly in the following order drinking water irrigation hydropower navigation industrial and other uses the total useful water resources of india are 
1122 cubic kilometer 1322 cubic kilometer 1322 cubic kilometer 1422 cubic kilometer answer is 1122 cubic kilometers Central Pollution Control Board and the State Pollution Board together have inspected the quality of national water resources. The number of water resources inspected by them is 509, 501, 500 or 507. The answer for this is the Central Pollution Control Board and the State Pollution Board together have inspected 507 national water resources for quality and you will find this information in the prevention of water pollution available water resources are degrading rapidly and the major rivers of the country generally retain better water quality in less densely populated upper stretches and hilly areas and in plain river water is used intensively for irrigation drinking domestic and industrial purposes the drains carrying agricultural Fertilizer and insecticide, domestic waste and industrial influence join the rivers and thus pollutes them. The Central Pollution Control Board or CPCB in collaboration with state pollution control boards has been monitoring water quality of national aquatic resources at 507 stations. So they are checking at 507 stations. Which of the following numbers given in cubic kilometer represents the total annual rainfall in India? 5000 cubic kilometers, 2000 cubic kilometers, 3000 cubic kilometers or 4000 cubic kilometers. And students, this is the last question for the part 1. And I will be publishing the part 2, part 3 and part 4 very soon. I hope you are enjoying this. So answer for this is 4000 cubic kilometer represents the total annual rainfall in India. We refer, we refer to the book again, Water Resources of India. India accounts for about 2.45% of the world's surface area, 4% of the world's water resources and about 16% of world's population. The total water available from precipitation that is rainfall, rainfall is called as precipitation in the country in a year is about 4000 cubic kilometer the availability from surface water and replenishable groundwater is 1869 cubic kilometers out of this only 60 percent can be put to beneficial use thus the total utilizable water resource in the country is only 1122 cubic kilometers here also it is mentioned the surface water resources. There are four major sources of surface water. Rivers, lakes, ponds and tanks. So, kon -kon se hai? Rivers, lakes, ponds and tanks are four major sources of surface water. Surface water is open, pani aapke zameen ke dikta hai. Rivers hai, lakes hai, ponds and tanks hai. And the country and there are about 10,360 rivers. If someone asks you how many rivers are there in India, it's 10,360 rivers and their tributaries longer than 1.6 kilometers each. It's uh, important information. This can also come in your short questions. So keep note of it. Okay. Thank you children for watching this and I'll be publishing this and the other parts very soon.